Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates. I am covering the Moscow, Idaho case. Let's talk about Einan Harsh. Einan Harsh, the neighbor of the Moscow home where four college students were brutally stabbed during the early morning hours of November 13th, 2022. Einan Harsh, he is an individual who claims he heard a scream out of the Moscow home during those early morning hours after he returned from work. A lot of mystery surrounding Einan Harsh. People speculate that he could be connected to Brian Kohlberger. I'm not so sure. But I got body cam footage of Einan Harsh. Um, multiple body cam incidents where he got pulled over numerous times by the Pullman police. And I want to share one body cam incident that he had April 13th, 2018 with a female officer who pulled him over. So check this out and then we will further discuss. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hey, you know, hey. right? Yeah. What? Yep. Long time no see. How are oh you doing? My. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> pretty good. How about good. yourself? Good. Thank you for asking. Well, you know me. I'm Officer Parkins. <laughs> do you have the driver's license, proof of insurance, and vehicle registration? Yeah. Excellent. And do you know why I stopped you? No. So I saw your hand near your face. I wasn't sure if that was cell phone or if you were just scratching. <laughs> uh, were you on the cell phone? No, I wasn't. Okay, that's just fine. I'll just grab your information from you. The driver's license, the proof of insurance, and the vehicle registration if you got it. Funny, I was wondering if I'd ever see you while I was working. Hopefully not. Yeah, right? But yeah. just a traffic stop is about as low key as it can get. That looks like that'll be the registration. And you have the proof of insurance as well. Lovely. Oops, sorry. Tell you what, you keep looking for that and I'll get my side of things done and rolling and I'll be right back with you, okay? Thanks. Code 4, driver to Washington. Four four six. go ahead. Last of Harsh, Henry, Adam, Robert, Sam, Henry. First of Enon, Ida, Nora, Adam, Nora. Middle A, Adam, date of birth, 012892. Copy. Can you start any case?
Okay, so unfortunately, well, hey, there you go. Yeah. Hold on. So unfortunately, I'm showing that your license is suspended. It seems like you failed to pay a ticket of some kind at some point. So if you wouldn't mind turning the ignition off from the car and then stepping outside with me, that'd be perfect. And we'll just get you sorted from here, okay? Okay. And come on now. Perfect. If you want to just step behind your car, do you have the phone on you? You can start organizing a ride from here. Uh -oh. oh, you're taking my car? I'm not going to take your car, but I can't let you drive it because I will be letting you continue to drive suspended. Uh, yeah, hold on. Yep. So I do have to advise you that you are under arrest for driving while license is suspended. Let me read to you Miranda rights. If I can find them, I've got a lovely card here. Hey partner, why don't you sit over here on the guardrail for us? They'll probably That'd be a place for you little safer. Okay, so I'm gonna read you your rights. Is that cool? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand those rights as I've read them to you? Yeah, so are you okay. going to take me to jail? Or? I'm not going to take you to jail. If you can organize a ride and everything. So what I'm going to do is you have been oh. advised that you're under arrest, so you do have to stay on scene. I'm going to have my partner here stay with you while I work on doing a criminal citation and if you can get someone to get the car on out of here that's fine with me and then we'll just let you go get a ride out from here okay cool, thanks. Mm -hmm. Hello. Just okay. Uh, yeah. okay thank you Did Morgan off work? do you want to advise him he's audio video recorded yep. thank you Do you want to wait out here or do you want to wait in the car? If he wants to wait in the car, he can. Okay. As long as he doesn't Didn't want to take call off. call a tow? No. I asked no. him if he could call somebody, but I don't think that's You didn't call us. him, did you? Who? The tow guy here. No, we're good. Thanks. I'm like, oh, that's pretty quick or something. Yeah. <laughs> hey, partner, if you want to sit in your car, go ahead and we'll take the for you. We went to high school together with it. Oh. Yeah. I was like, oh, hopefully we'll get you out of here soon. 
suspended. Nope. I'll wait right here. Thanks. Okay, so this is the last part. How's the ride going? You got Fine. someone on the way? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, um, do you know what you're going to do about the car? Is someone going to come and drive it away or is yeah, it going to... Yeah, someone with his girlfriend. Okay, so you got someone who can drive it away for you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So this is a criminal citation for the driving while license suspended. So there's... Oh, sorry. So you're going to want to respond to that within two weeks. I marked it for 15 days, so, but two weeks. If you don't hear anything from the court before then, you probably want to call them. All of their information is on there. And I believe, if you don't mind. So, because driving while license is suspended is technically a criminal charge, they'll want you to appear in court, but you can talk to them about everything. So, the reason that it was suspended is you failed to appear for a traffic ticket or something like that, from my understanding. Oh, Didn't yeah. pay it. I, think I forgot to pay a ticket. Yeah. Yeah, so they suspended your license in the third degree, and so I'm not that surprised that you didn't know about it because it seems like you're pretty surprised. But um, you'll want to respond to that in two weeks. Hi. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if you don't hear anything from the court, they don't send you anything, then uh, definitely give them a call and make sure that they know what's going on and that you haven't missed a court date because then they could put out a warrant for you as well. So, any questions? Okay. Sorry to see you for the first time on the job this way. Yeah, that's cool. You like cats? Yeah. You see my cat sometime? Uh, well, probably not. Oh, okay. Know. But so you're working at Bloom? Yeah. Cool. I worked there too, like really? four years ago, really? for about three months. Twenty-three. I'm sorry. Twenty-three. You're twenty-three. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's me. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just hang tight and make sure everybody's safe until your ride gets here. Where are they coming from? Uh, like you of I. Okay, so they're pretty close? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll hang tight with you for just a minute, okay? Mm -hmm. You may hang out or? You're good. Okay. Although, I feel kind of bad because I stopped him because I thought he had a phone and he was just like scratching. And he was speeding. It's 45. Mm -hmm. He was in excess of the 45 limit. I could visually estimate it. I'm not as good at that as speed. you are. He's good, speed. Definitely not as good at that as you are. And then the last guy that I gave him. So Einan got pulled over by a female officer who thought Einan was talking on his phone, but it looked like he was just scratching. But he had a suspended license, and the officer gave him a citation for the suspended license. Don't know the results of that. I'm assuming that he probably most likely pled guilty. I think he could have got arrested for that, but instead the officer used her discretion and just gave him a citation. He could have actually got arrested and taken away. Um, and said something about I am working at Bloom. What is Bloom? Did you hear the name Bloom? Are you still working at Bloom? And then it also seemed like Einan was kind of flirting with the officer. Hey, you want to come play with my cats or see my cats? Uh, she's like, no. <laughs> no. Um, what's your thoughts on Einan Harsh? Do you think he's connected to the Moscow case in any way? His name was circulating. Uh, he chose to interject himself. He gave subsequent interviews talking about the whole situation, but he's also went quiet quiet since Brian Kohlberger got arrested. No social media posts that I seen 
publicly. Is that for a reason? Or maybe he's a witness in this case for the prosecution, maybe a witness for the defendant. Or is there something else? Or there is there nothing at all with Einan Harsh? Let me know what you think about that body cam incident. I'll be posting more body cam footage of Einan Harsh soon. Stay tuned. I want to know all your thoughts about all this, so I will read your comments. We'll talk soon. Everyone be safe. God bless. Justice for the victims and their families in Moscow, Idaho.